afternoon. This is the... <laughs> Hi, welcome to Asbury's Echoes. This is Rhonda and Drew, and this is our fly. Hi, welcome to Asbury's Echoes. I'm Rhonda, and this is Drew, and this is our floss tube channel, where we talk mostly about... Ooh, gosh, sorry. That's not good. Mostly about um, cross-stitch. Once in a while, I'll throw something else in because I like to do all kinds of dabbling and all kinds of things but here recently it's just been cross stitch mainly because it's summer and we're busy busy and um i don't have time for much else in the winter i find more time but in the summer cross stitch is about all i do so it's only been a week i know i said last floss tube that um was floss tube. i was floss tube i'm sorry that um, I was going to try and keep it short last time and so that way we can get caught up this time and this time it will be short too because we've again been busy. Sounds like a broken record. We just got back from a camping trip and the camping trip was much needed. We had so much fun, didn't we? We went to a state park called Ledges and we try and get up there at least once a year because it is, it's just the most beautiful state park. And we camped with some friends, some really good friends that we've known for a long, long time. I'm gonna go put my car in the shop. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're, it's supposed to storm here. So Drew's getting worried. He's gonna go put his car in the shop. Um, where was I? Oh, we were camping and we went to ledges and, um, I've got my brother-in-law and sister-in-law live really close, so they always come out and visit, which is always fun. And the first night we went to, and the first day we got there that evening, we went to what's called the High Trestle Trail Bridge. And it's um, a bridge that is across, I think they said it was the Des Moines River, but it's a biking trail and a walking trail. And this trail, this High Trestle Trail connects a lot of the communities up there and it's pretty long. I should do some research and figure out how long it really is, how many miles, but the bridge itself is beautiful. The, the, the view from the bridge is absolutely gorgeous over the river. And this year we've had a lot of rain in Iowa and a lot of issues up north with flooding. And so we could see that in the river because there was a lot more water than we have ever seen before. And then at night, they light this bridge up and it's blue lights and they go all the way over the bridge for the whole entire span of the river itself. And so it's kind of, it's a whole new experience when you go at night, when you go after dark and walk this, this bridge. It's a half mile walk to get to the bridge and I'm not sure quite how long the bridge itself is, but we did that the first night and that was really fun. And then the next day, we went down to the canyon. This, the Ledges has what they call a canyon. It's um, a canyon for Iowa anyway. But the CCC was um, a major part of working on it and building the state park. And there's a beautiful bridge down there. They said it's been there for 90 years that the CCC built out of the rocks from the creek. And um, you can go down there and Normally you go down, you drive down and you get out and the kids are playing and the cars are splashing water all over them and you can go wander through the creek and see all the bluffs and the walls and or you can hike up in the, the trees. And But again, because of the water issue, we couldn't drive down because part of it was underwater. So we walked down and like I said, okay. Like I said, it's considered a canyon, so the hike down was fine. The hike up was another story, wasn't it? <laughs> it was. My legs are so sore. <laughs> I know, I'm doing well now, but this old lady was really struggling there at the end, but we all made it, and so um, that was fun too, even though we didn't get to actually get out and wander around in the creek, which we like to do. Maybe next time. You can never, um, we're, we're not complaining because we got water finally because we've been in a drought for the last couple years, but um, you get too much water and it's just as bad, I guess, is not enough, right? Then what else did we do? 
Oh, Joe's siblings came. His brothers and sisters were all able to come out and join us for a potluck on Saturday. And then some friends of mine from school that I had not seen literally in years, years and years, they happened to live up in that area and saw that we were there. So they came out and visited and that was, that was nice too. That was really enjoyable to sit there and, and talk to some old friends from high school and um, get caught up on things. And that was about it, wasn't it? I guess we did go and listen to um, Saturday night. We went and listened to the park ranger give a talk on the CCC and the dollar a day boys. And that was really interesting too, how, how the CCC came about and even how the state parks came about in Iowa back in the twenties and why they came about. Um, so we really enjoyed that. And I told Drew, he just had an, a homeschool lesson. Didn't you? Why does everything have to be homeschool? <laughs> Learning about the state parks, our state parks and the CCC and the Dollar a Day Boys and all of that. It was very interesting. But. I should have filmed it. We should have filmed some of it. I bet he wouldn't have cared. You need to start doing that. Well, there was a lady, I'm guessing she had a YouTube channel filming a lot. Really? Was, was she filming dog. it? It was, it was. It was a very interesting talk and I'm, I'm really glad that we chose to to go there and, and listen to it. And I was able to buy a postcard, a local lady there that lives real close to the ledges is a, the most beautiful artist. Oh my goodness. They had postcards of her, her watercolors. And it was a hard choice whether I wanted a winter scene or a summer scene, whether I wanted the bridge, she had painted a picture of the bridge itself or I should have gotten a couple, but I didn't. I ended up just getting one and they're not very big and I'm going to just frame it and keep it in the camper. But I ended up getting the one of the Crick because that's always our favorite. It's called Peak Creek Crick. I don't know what's the correct Peak term. Creek. We usually call them Cricks, but the name is of, of the Crick is Pea Creek. So um, that's always our favorite part of the time of every time we go camping at Ledges is going down to the Crick. So I ended up getting a beautiful little watercolor of just the crick. And so we're going to keep this short today, right? You say that every time. I'm this time I'm going that. to <laughs> because I don't have a whole lot to share. I just have a few things and I'm trying to figure out which one to start with. What'd you do with the poor sunflowers? The poor sunflowers. The fake ones. Oh, I'll like talk that. about that. I think they look cool. You don't like it? No. Okay, we'll talk about that one first. <laughs> So I came across this saying, God rest your love upon this door and bless this home forevermore. And I knew I wanted to use that. And I had this, I've had this old basket for gosh, for years hanging on the back door. And I had stuck some of these sunflowers, they're Hobby Lobby sunflowers and they were bright yellow. And I was watching Doreen with Privies and Prims, and she is the master at priming things up. And she was talking about taking these flowers that she gets from Hobby Lobby and dipping them in your coffee and your coffee and your dye. And so I thought, you know, those, those poor sunflowers, they're so bright. And they still look bright in, on the picture. In the, Did you steal this from my hand? In the camera cage. here. No, you stole some of them from me for your hermit crab cage. Oh. Yeah, because these have been around for a while. So that's what I did. I dunked them in um, the dye that I used to, to coffee and walnut crystal stain my, my stitches. So I dunked, dunked them all in and then I kind of hung them upside down to drip dry so the edges all got really dark. They, they do look a lot more prim now in real life than, they're, than they are on the camera. But anyway, this was the, um, the stitch that I came up with. I'm not sure why I chose such a big house. I wanted I wanted something to fit on this basket and so I kept making the house bigger and bigger and adding windows and windows and then of course you have to add two chimneys instead of one to make it look right and I don't like to stitch things that um, have a lot of fill in but here I am and that's what I did and this one is called Bless This Home. God rest your love upon this door and bless this home forevermore. And these are just old vintage buttons that I had gotten in a jar from the antique store here in town, which I have plenty of. 
I need to work a little better, work a little harder on getting this um, to stay right. And this is just, this basket is just, I don't even know where it came from. You've had it for a while. I have had it for years, I haven't I? The basement. <laughs> I have had this for years. Most of my stuff I have had for years and years. Our fridge is like 30 years old. And I want to, well, yeah, but it still works. So why would I get a new one? It sounds like it's going to blow up and kill us all. <laughs> but it still works. And I don't like to buy brand new stuff if I don't have to. And so as long as it works, we're going to keep it. So there's that one. Anyway, it's stitched on the Nate Burkos fabric. It is one over two coffee and walnut crystal stained after I stitched. So there was that one. I'm always trying to figure out how to um, come up with different finishes just simply because my house is full of framed and frame stitches and pillows and I just want something new and different. So next, uh, let's see, I did this one. I love sheep. We raised sheep growing up. I miss my sheep. My husband doesn't like sheep, so we have never had them. It's a lot of sheep. My dream sentence. was always to have some sheep and to um, be able to... We've got a whole pasture. We take the wool and... Yeah, but it's a lot of work and we're getting old now. But my dream was always to have sheep and raise raise them and just a few. So and take the wool and um, spin it and make my own, anyway, you know, all that stuff that, that was a dream and it may, probably will never happen, but maybe someday I will learn how to use a spinning wheel. If I, get, if I have a say over it, it will happen. If you have a say over it, it will happen. Okay, anyway, this is what I came up with because again, I love sheep and I love sunflowers. And, you know, there's always the alphabet. And again, Nate Burkus fabric, one over two, definitely dyed it after stitching. Oh, I take that back. This is not Nate Burkus fabric. For some reason, I decided that I wanted to stitch on 32 count. So this is 32 count and it is a Belfast linen that I purchased from 123 Stitch. And it has been stained. I did stain this after stitching, but this is done on 32 count. And this is the um, chenille trim from Purple Paper, Paper Mountain on Etsy. Check them out. She's wonderful. It's a green. I'm not sure if it's like a, I'm not sure what green it is. I did not dye the, the trim. I only dyed this. And then because I had plenty of the 32 count Belfast linen that I used. I did this one and this one is called, oh, this one is called Alphabet Sheep. This one is called something chicks, flower chicks, flower chicks. Yes. Originally this one was supposed to have these flowers and I had stitched this much and looked at it and thought, oh, I kind of like those too. They kind of remind me of a coneflower or a um, black eyed Susan or <laughs> so I thought, okay, we'll do that. And then we'll put the chicks down underneath because you know, the chicks love to go out and- What is that stuff that looks like that? On the play middle? in my flowers, huh? What's it called? What? What's the flowers called? They're out in the meadow. These? Yeah. They do look like, maybe like a um, Black Eyed Susan. Those are really hard to take a picture of. I tried yesterday. I can't get it. Yes, get there is there is a wildflower that grows out um, out in the, the field. I'm trying to put pictures. We have this, this beautiful, beautiful field all around our house. It's the neighbors, but she has thrown, I mean, she has, there's wildflowers growing in it. And I tell her, Diane, sometimes I just go out there and I just go stand and just take it all in for a while because it's it's just beautiful and yes these are definitely We've got everything out there that's what they look like isn't it yeah they have queen anne's lace and um this and they have fleabane and there's um what's the other one i'm trying to think of i can't think of it right now it'll come to me later 
The chicory. Oh, the chicory is blooming. The per I love the chicory. The chicory is one of my favorite things of summer. After the two but it's not up there. It grows along. It's up there. Is it up there? There's oh. big patches of it. Okay, I need to go check that out because there's nothing better than just going out and driving our old gravel roads in the summer and this the chicory just grows on each side and it just when it's all in bloom it's just it's just beautiful the bad part about chicory is i've tried and you can't really pick it i like to pick the old the wildflowers and bring them in and then i um joe and drew made me a flower press a couple years ago and I love to press the stuff, and then I use them for different things. I make bookmarks and little candle holders and um, different fun things with the dried flowers. And I've tried with the chicory because there's such a beautiful purpley blue color. But after you pick it and dry it, it turns um, it's like ugly. Yeah, it, it it's just this. It's it's not pretty at all. So you can't use them for that. So you just have to enjoy it while it's here. And every summer, it's it's just, and they don't um, they don't bloom. I mean they they close up when the sun starts. Like they're probably not out now because it's overcast today. So I'm guessing they're not blooming today. They need the sun to bloom. But anyway, yes, the chicory. So this is. Um, why can't I remember? Flower chicks. Flower chicks. Because, the, my, you know, my baby, my chicks, the favorite thing in their world to do if we let, when, when we let them free range is destroy the flower beds. They go straight to the garden and they go straight to the flower beds. So during gardening season, they don't, um, they have to stay in their chicken run, which we just made them a new and improved chicken run. But once that garden is done, they get free reign and they go out there and they just, they, oh, they have a ball. And of course, then they have a ball in my flower beds too, which I'm fine with because I love my chickens. I love my flowers. They come back too. So the chickens don't actually kill them. They just make them look really bad, which is okay. So there's that one. And, and again, if you're huh? interested, I'm building a cat shed or catio. <laughs> and I might film it. If you're interested, I can put it in a floss tube. Yeah, Drew's going to so add, he's got comments. a cat shed, and he's going to add a catty-o to his cat shed so that the cats can have a place to lounge around um, so that they're kind no, of outside, so but can, they're not outside, but then the dog can't chase because them. Because I want to watch them torment the dog in there. Yeah, and they will torment <laughs> the dog. The dog The dog sticks his head in the cat door of the cat shed, and it's hilarious. No, it's not. It makes me mad. <laughs> I think it's funny. <laughs> He's not, he doesn't hurt the cats. He just to likes to play with the cats and he chases some. Some of them he loves and they um, cuddle. A couple of them he chases. No, he, he never hurts them, but he just uh, excuse chases me? them. I've never seen him hurt one. What? Okay. I've never seen him hurt one. All right, let's move on. Um, there, oh, these. I had fun with these. Um, I think I did this one first and let's see, it's, this is a magnet. So this, this board is a magnet. This has got them out. Oh, see, I use painter's tape. <laughs> if you can't see it, I don't care what it looks like. And you just don't want to look at the backs of things when I do them. So here is, um, all is well. Like this that. is something I have to remind myself of now and then. So I've got it set. Usually I'm now I've been putting it up here on my shelf. So I see it all the time because if something's bothering me, you know what? All is well with my soul. I, I shouldn't stress and I shouldn't. I don't need to worry. You need to do something with that. It will all work cute. out. With what? It's all over in here. You're chatty today. I know. It's ugly, okay. I so this here came from the little shop Fiddle Dee Dee that is in our little neighboring town here that um, I've been visiting quite frequently because she has such beautiful, fun things. A lot, most of her stuff is um, old, found and repurposed. But some, once in a while she'll have some things like this. This has, I think there's, it's like a nesting set. I think there were three different sizes and I brought this one home and I brought one that's just a little bit bigger home. It reminds me of a strawberry um, container. I don't know why, but I, I just like it. So anyway, all is well. And I wrapped 
just a piece of cardboard with fabric and hot glued it onto the back of the board, the little piece of cardboard. It was probably a cereal box. And then I think I wrapped this, I think this was probably sticky board. And as you can see, I, I, I don't worry so much. I just, I just don't. It's, it's fine. And then, whoops, the, um, the pattern is called All Is Well. And the pattern has a stitched heart too, but I absolutely love these heart buttons that come from my Stitching Peace store, P-E-A-C-E. -E. She's on Facebook, Judy is her name. Um, I love these buttons. They're, um, gosh, I'm not sure how big they are. They're a big button. They're, they're a nice size button. And I just love the shape of them, the color. I think they look so prim. A lot of times in the pictures, they come out um, brighter red than what they really are because they're more of a, a dark, prim red. And I just, I wanted to use them and they just, I don't know, the heart and different sayings, like all is well. So there's this one. And then I was playing around and I came up with love, joy, hope with the button. The button might need to be. And where's the other one? Here it is. Count your blessings. I always want to sing that song, Count Your Blessings. Um, this one, Be Kind Today. I think we all need to be reminded of that now and then. Just be kind. That's all. I mean, it's, it's not hard to do. Just be kind. We're all out here doing our thing, and um, <laughs> we need to be reminded now and then that to be kind. So as you can see... I've got the button and I've got a stitched heart and this one I put an old rusty you know I, sh I think I talked about rusting these up a couple plus tubes ago so now I have all the rusty pins safety pins to use and these are just upholstery tacks black upholstery tacks little ones and the boards themselves Joe cut. My husband just cut these for me out of off of a scrap piece that he had out there in the shop. Mom, you and, have to talk louder. They can't hear you. Oh, sorry. Yeah, scrap piece of board. And all I did was I just asked Joe to cut them, and I told him what size. And bless his heart, he went ahead and um, sanded them all down for me, so they're when nice and to. smooth. He didn't have to. No, I hadn't. I, I didn't ask him to, but he he no, did. You do have to if you want it to look nice. Oh, well, I thought they would look prim without it, but I'm glad he did it because they are much nicer. They do look much better. And then I just used Brie Wax. I didn't put any paint or anything on them. I just used the Brie Wax and coated them in Brie Wax and let it sit for a little bit, not for very long. And then I wiped it off and buffed them up and these will sit. They just sit flat and you can just set them, tuck them in anywhere and, um, then I got to thinking about these and something else you could do. And now I can't remember what it was that I was thinking you could do. Oh, you could make these into pillows so easily. And they would be, they would look just as good as these. And again, those buttons, those buttons are just, they're just beautiful. I love these, these heart buttons. And I'm not necessarily a heart person. I don't display hearts really much. And I don't really, um, like for Valentine's Day, I, I don't really decorate for Valentine's Day. Not that I don't like hearts, but they're just not something that I normally uh, go to. But I just felt the need to to use these buttons and, it, and to have these little things sitting around as reminders. And this, this is Nate Burkus fabric and they, this has been um, dyed after I stitched. And so that's about it, except for this one. I made another, 
um, board pillow. And I don't think I showed this one before. I can't remember. I think you did. Did I? I think so. I don't remember. This was a request. Somebody asked me to do an old brooms. And so I did an old brooms. And I have another request that I'm working on and I'm gonna get started here, another word pillow. And somebody had asked me, because I don't stitch my pillows, I don't use a sewing machine, I stitch by hand. Somebody asked me if I could show how I stitch by hand and I will gladly do a little tutorial. So that'll probably be the next my next floss tube with my next word pillow because it's small and it'll be easy to show. But um, I will, I will show how I do it. It's very simple. <laughs> there's no, um, there's no trick to it. It's just, I, I can use the sewing machine. I do use my sewing machine. No, you don't. Not much, but I do that? use it. It's in the, the office. Oh, I'm just <laughs> The office slash craft, craft room slash storage room, blah, the strat, blah, I don't know. The, the catch all room. And I do use my sewing machine, but um, do you though? when the sewing machine works, I love it. When the machine doesn't work, it frustrates me. And all I want to do is just go grab my needle and thread and sit down and do it. It might take me a little bit longer in the long run, but it doesn't frustrate me like um, the darn sewing machine does. So that I will try and do for the next floss tube is just show how I stitch one of those up. And then... I think last time I showed I was working on this. I think I'm done. I have switched and changed Finally. and frogged. I don't know how much of it and try to try and make it um, to get it the way I wanted it. That little verse, that little saying just kind of popped in my head last night. And I thought, hmm, that'll work. Basket with a little little acorn in there, um, little squirrel. I spent hours when I was young down in the timber sitting on this gigantic log that was laying down there that was there when my folks bought the place. That was mine too. And it was yours too, but it finally rotted away. But I no. sat down there for hours. This one did. You're talking no, about I mean, a different one, no. yeah. This one, I sat there, oh my gosh, there was a fox den down there. Oh, there, I like it. And I would go down, and I would sit, and I would be just quiet, and not move, and just wait for those, that, there was always, in the summer, this mama and her babies, and I would watch and wait for her to come up, and then I'd sit and watch those babies play. I do that, but it was a possum. You want to do it with a possum? There was one. But while I was sitting down there, I would watch the squirrels because we never really had squirrels up by the house, just like out here we don't either. And I think it's probably because of the dogs and the cats that we've always had. So the squirrels don't come around, but I would sit down there and watch the squirrels just run and play and um, their big bushy tails. And in the fall, they'd be running around with their acorns and getting ready for for winter and I just wanted to do a squirrel because I remember mm -hmm. it just I was kind of an odd child you still are. I spent more of my time probably down in the timber and riding my horse than I did well we lived in the country so so anyway this one will be um I'm not sure when I'm gonna get it done here's my frame here's the frame my sister-in-law gave to me she she had made me some a while back and I have used a few of them and um, she gave me this one and I was like oh Linda I think that'll be perfect for something that I've been working on and so there's that I appreciate her so much um, it's just old lath there's nothing okay, to this calm it down here knock the phone off I'm gonna knock the phone off. just old lath so anyway I think that is it I wanted to keep it short and sweet and um i think that is it does anybody have do you guys have um fourth of july plans we might i'm gonna take my mower in really bad he wants he's thinking he wants to take his mower in with some buddies and be in the parade we'll see i don't know if that's good i don't know it might rain i have to fix two tires to drive the 
and we buy a new battery. Ah, uh, well then, you got a lot of work to do. I know. We have a, <laughs> there we were invited to a, um, I think it's kind of like a neighborhood party. I'm not sure. In town on the third, which is tomorrow, isn't it? Oh gosh, tomorrow. Yeah. So we may be going to that, which will be fun. You don't want to do that? Too many people. Oh well, yeah, there's a lot of people, but um, <laughs> I think it'll be fun. I'm not, it, it'll be fun if we go. And that's probably it. I don't know. We don't really have big plans. There's always a big celebration in town. We always go to the parade. The old stone house in town is having, I do remember that. yes, they're having an open house. Last year, we have a Carnegie Library building in our town, and I miss that library. I loved it when that was the library, but they moved the library to a newer um, building, and that building had sat empty for so long, but some um, somebody from those originally born and raised here has moved back. They bought the building, and they're turning it into a house, and so they opened it up last year, and it was absolutely gorgeous. And it was fun to get back in there. I had forgotten about the fireplace and, you know, we all have our stories about the old library. But so this year they're opening up the old stone house, which is the oldest house in town. I have never been in it. And I've heard others say the same thing. They've never been in it. So we want to go tour that and see what that is like. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Go to the parade. We'll always go to the parade. And then we always have fireworks at night. The town provides some really nice, beautiful fireworks. I don't think we went last year. I think we we decided we were tired and we didn't go in, but maybe this year we'll go in. I'm gonna put an air mattress in the back of the truck. Put an air mattress in the back of the truck. Yeah, we'll line up along the highway. That's what people, a lot of people do. The big tractor, tractor show or tractor pull at the county, um, the county fairgrounds. So people go to that and then they just stay right there and watch the fireworks or we, you can just oh, go wait, in and find yeah, no, a place. I'm not done because that's two days. There's yeah, no way. Yeah, that's two days. Yep. So anyway, we're rambling now. It's time to time to. Um, that's all we ever do. Cut it short here ramble. because we, <laughs> nobody probably really cares to hear about it. But um, I hope everybody has a great Fourth of July, and thank you again for for watching us and listening to us. And um, I'm not sure how much stitch it all get done in the next week or two because we're busy and summer's hitting and it's garden That's season i i picked um yesterday uh, i know i picked some peppers today i picked a bunch of green beans last night i noticed i have um a lot of bell peppers my bell peppers are looking really good this year they usually don't so we've gotten a lot more rain though and my tomatoes i've had some cherry tomatoes and i've had one nice big one so I'm afraid we'll be um, canning salsa before I know it. To decide whether I want to freeze green beans or can green beans. I don't know. It depends on how much I get, I suppose. Um, and I think we're going to have call rabbi for supper. Doesn't that sound good? No. No? <laughs> Pick a couple call rabbi to go along with whatever we have for supper. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, thank you for commenting. And thank you for all the kind words. I... It's so appreciated. Thank you for purchasing my patterns. That is also so appreciated. Um, don't forget to what? Uh, like. You need to start a membership. Like, like, comment, and turn on bell notifications so you get notified every time we upload. Okay, there you go. And now we'll see how long it takes us to upload because last time it took over 24 hours. Yeah. So we'll see how this one goes. So thank you very much, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.